Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today I am doing a video to give you advice on how to improve your English speaking skills. Okay, so it's not a lesson, but I'm going to give you lots of very good advice. So, I'm going to actually give you 10 tips to help you improve your English speaking skills. Now, tips, that means advice, okay? And I will give you the tips in reverse order, which means I will start with number 10 and I will finish with number 1. So, let's start. So, number 10, the first thing is you must improve your grammar, okay? grammar. And that is because excellent English grammar is important because, well, first of all, you will quickly understand what people are saying. So, this is important. If you have good grammar, you will not waste time trying to understand what people are saying. You will understand them quickly. And you will also quickly find the correct form of what you want to say. Okay, so very quickly, you know exactly what you want to say if you have good grammar. Which means the result is that you can concentrate on pronunciation and fluency. You are no longer concentrating on the grammar rules because you already know them. So, you can concentrate on excellent pronunciation and fluency. And finally, you will feel very confident. If your grammar is good and you know that it is good, then you will feel confident when you are speaking. You will want to speak to people. Okay? So, this is the real basics. You must improve your grammar. Number nine, you must also improve your vocabulary. If you have good vocabulary, then you will quickly know what you want to say. Okay, if you know lots of words, then you will have lots of words that you can say. Okay, so you will not waste time um, trying to think what is the correct word. Okay. So, how can you improve your vocabulary? Well, first of all, you must have and use a good dictionary. And some examples are the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary and the Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. They are both um, good for British English. And there is also the Merriam-Webster's Advanced Learner's Dictionary. And that is for American English. Okay, so use a good dictionary. And also, do not forget that you can follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter account. Because I teach you a new word every day. Okay, so I give vocabulary lessons, I give you a new word or expression every day on Twitter. So this is an example. Okay, so improve your vocabulary is very important. Number eight, again, you must improve your listening skills. Because if you improve your listening, that means that you will understand much better. Okay, You will understand what people are saying to you. So, if you very quickly understand what people are saying to you, then you can reply more quickly. And if you can reply more quickly, then you will speak more fluently. So, very important 
to improve your listening skills. And also, it will help you with your pronunciation. So, my advice is watch my English listening videos on this channel and listen with the transcript on the screen. Then read the transcript and record your voice. So use a microphone and record yourself reading the transcript. And then you can play your voice back so you can listen to your pronunciation and compare it to my pronunciation in the video. And finally, that will help you to identify the mistakes and you can then try to improve your pronunciation. Okay, so if you know, if you can hear your own mistakes, then you can change your pronunciation. All right, so that is a very good method for using um, listening videos to help you with your pronunciation. You can also listen to English radio and watch English television with subtitles. So if you are watching a film at home on television or a DVD or if you go to the cinema then try to watch it with English sound and with English subtitles. Okay. Number seven, prepare in advance. Example, before you call a hotel to book a room, then you can prepare what you want to say and you can use a dictionary. So before a conversation, before you speak, you can prepare it. You can, you know what you're going to say. And if there are words that you are not sure about, you can use a dictionary. And also think about the questions that the other person will ask. And you can prepare for those too by using a dictionary. Okay. Now, I understand that this is not always possible. We cannot always prepare in advance. But if there are situations where it is possible, then do it. Okay. There is no, nothing wrong with preparing. Number six, learn the international phonetic alphabet. And we also call this the IPA. That is the abbreviation. The IPA helps us to pronounce a word correctly because it is a system for representing different sounds with symbols. Let me give you some examples of symbols. So this symbol, this is the sound for sh, like in the word ship or dish. This symbol is the sound for s, like sit, city. This is the symbol for a, like day or grey. This is the symbol for a, uh, like animal, about. This is a symbol for n, like never, nice. And the symbol for t, like train, top, t. Okay, so how do we use these symbols? What is this for? Well, for example, imagine that you are reading a book 
and you find a new word that you do not know. You are reading a book and you see this new word. It says a new word. You do not know this word. So if you look in a dictionary, you will see that in the dictionary there will be the IPA um, there will be the, the, the IPA symbols and it will be this. So in the dictionary, the IPA, there will be these symbols. And if you understand these symbols, if you learn the International Phonetic Alphabet, you will be able to read this and you will know that this is station station okay so maybe if you do not know this IPA perhaps you pronounce this correct incorrectly maybe you would have pronounced it station or station which is wrong but if you know IPA you will know that the pronunciation is station so very important try to learn this okay and if you want me to do a video lesson about IPA then write a comment below this video and ask me and I will um, I will try to do a video number five think and talk to yourself in English so talk to yourself in English not your native language. For example, if you, if you are French, for example, you are French and you live in France, then do not say je suis en retard. Okay, do not say that. That is your thought in French, in your native language. So try to say it in English. Or try to think it in English. So say this, I am late. That is better. And it is because this will force you to start thinking in English. Okay, so if you start talking to yourself in English, you will think in English. And if you are thinking in English, you will speak more fluently because you are no longer translating in your thoughts okay if you are thinking in english you do not spend time translating from the native language to english okay so it helps you to speak more fluently so every day when you're by yourself in the car or on the bus or walking somewhere look around you and say what you see or what you are doing and say it in English number four practice with other students so go out and organize with other students and practice speaking in English and to help you do this, choose a theme for the evening. Maybe one evening you can talk about favourite films, or holidays, or sport. Okay. The important thing is that you have to make a very important rule for everybody. And the rule is, only speak English. Do not speak English in your native language okay so make it a game you can say to people if you speak in your native language then you have to buy a drink for everybody or you have to sing a song okay very important only English for the whole evening okay travel to English speaking countries. So 
when you go on holiday, if you can, if you have enough money, then try to travel maybe to Great Britain. So here is London in England, or maybe the USA or Canada. And of course, do not forget you have Australia and New Zealand. Okay, so these are only examples. There are many other countries where they speak English. For example, you have South Africa or countries like India as well. They speak um, English in India or Pakistan, um, South Africa, um, even places like Hong Kong. All right. There are many, many destinations in the world where they speak English. So try to go on a trip or a holiday and speak English. Number two, speak with native English speakers. Okay, so this is one of the best ways of improving your English, is to practice speaking with a native and for a few hours per week. So at least one hour and preferably maybe two, maybe three hours per week. Speak with somebody whose native language is English. And ask them to speak slowly and clearly. Okay, that's important. And secondly, to correct, sorry, to correct your biggest mistakes. So if you are making some um, big mistakes, ask them to, to correct you. Okay. So the question is, how do I find English native speakers in my town? Well, here are a few tips. First of all, look for, po for popular English games and sports. So look for clubs or um, organizations or groups of people who like snooker or pool or billiards, maybe cricket or football or rugby, ten pin bowling, this is very popular with Americans, and games like bridge, which is a card game, or backgammon. Okay, so you will often find lots of English people playing these games or sports. Also, you can try to look for an English pub. Okay, an English pub. Okay, um, English pubs are very popular. Um, it is an important part of the English culture. So if you find an English pub, you will always find English people inside. Exchange language conversation. So, for example, if you are French and you live in France, then you can offer to give one hour of French conversation to an English person. Okay? And in exchange, the English person will give you one hour of English conversation. Okay? So th this is a very good way of you teaching your native language and you learning English. Okay? It's a very good way. So for this, you can perhaps advertise somewhere. You can write a little um, poster and ask or, or propose this service. And finally, other places, some other ideas. Ask at the British Embassy or the American Embassy. University. You will often find English students maybe at your local university. International companies. If there is a big American company in your town, then perhaps you can contact them and see if they organize any events. And look for an English bookshop. If there is an English bookshop in your town, then often 
there is a community there or maybe a notice board okay so that is an, another way of finding English native speakers finally number one very important do not be scared about making a mistake okay so don't be scared be confident okay it doesn't matter all right because if you are scared you will never speak fluently all right you must just start speaking because it does not have to be perfect when you are learning yes you will make mistakes but it is not important the important thing is is to try to try to speak because we learn from mistakes if you make a mistake then you will be corrected someone will correct you and you will learn from that mistake okay so mistakes are good speaking and making a mistake is better than not speaking okay so don't be shy and you can also ask the other person to correct your mistakes after you have finished speaking okay so tell them yes you want them to correct your mistakes but ask them to wait until you have finished speaking okay ask them not to interrupt you okay so very important do not be scared about making a mistake just start speaking so that is the end of this video i hope the advice was helpful for you write a comment below the video and tell me what you think um, and if you would like to subscribe then you can subscribe by clicking here on the screen here is my twitter address if you want to learn new vocabulary every day and here are some other videos which you might be interested in so you can click on the screen on any of these videos and that will start the video okay I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.